Thank you, Lord, uh, for speaking to Simon, Lord. Thank you for how he's heard you and for the work he's put into this. I pray that you'd help him to communicate uh, clearly to us. Lord, I ask that we would all open our hearts to receive your word this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Andy. Right, um, I was all set to talk today about Paul. I started it all planned. There was nearly finished planning it. It was all looking good. And then on Friday, God spoke to me and he said, no, you're not talking about Paul. I want you to talk about this. So he changed the plans totally. Um, but don't worry, I am doing, still finishing the Paul speech. It's part of my KST assignment. So we will be hearing that at some point during the year. Um, but of course, today is um, the epiphany, or sometimes called the Three Kings Day. And it's the last day of the 12 days of Christmas. And um, I discovered, um, I don't know how many of you know about it, but there is actually a lot of people out there that believe there is some doctrine in the 12 Days of Christmas song linked to the God. And that's what I've been exploring and what God's been telling me about. Excuse me, this is a bit of a wobbly stand, as all of them. So we're going to go through the meanings of the 12 Days of Christmas. And also, um, if anybody's interested, the first ever version, a written version of the 12 Days of Christmas, was done in 1780. And it was in a children's book called Myth Without Mischief. Now, if any of you have got a copy, hold on to it, because it's worth a lot of money. <laughs> now, now, uh, one so- the uh, first copy sold at auction in 2004 for $23,750. Yeah, a little one. <laughs> um, but the version we're all familiar with, the song version, wasn't actually brought in, written and composed until 1909. And that was by an English composer called Frederick Austin. And that's about all the background we need. So, we're going to start with this, the first slide. A partridge in a pear tree. Now, does anybody have... Any guess what this might be referring to? Yeah. Okay, it's very clever, careful. <laughs> no, well, this one is fairly straightforward. You have a partridge. One thing. It's Jesus. A reference to the God's Son, and a nice easy one to get started with. So next we have two turtle doves. Anybody like to hazard a guess? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit? Mm. There's not two Holy Spirit, there's only one Holy Spirit. <laughs> Here we go. And this one is the Old and the New Testament. So, yeah, okay, quite easy on that one. And the next one is three French hens. Ah, that would be a logical choice. I did think that when I was looking, trying to look it up and everything, but it's actually more people believe it's linked to the theological virtues. And anybody know what they are? The theological virtues. <laughs> well, faith, 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 hope and charity. Which See, we're, getting, we're getting more and more on the list now, so. And the next one is four calling birds. First of all, does anybody know what the original, what it was originally called? Very good. Gospels. But originally it was called four calling birds, not calling birds, which refers to a, the blackbird. And anybody know what the four gospels are? Come on, Curzon, what are the four gospels? Well, I don't care as well. <laughs> there we go. Watch, click on that one. Next one, five gold rings. It's no, it's not the Olympics. No, it's a good guess. <laughs> Are you listening over there, Curzon? <laughs> Right, so, any, any guesses? No? Uh, 
first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Let's see. And the next one we have is six geese are laying. Anybody like to guess what six might be? Well, not quite perfect, no. There's a clue in that. Not quite perfect. Uh, humans do come in the answer, sort of. Six refers to the six days of creation. What's that? Mm. And next we have seven. Swans are swimming. I've got the bottom of the sword there for a minute. Now, this is getting a little more difficult. Seven. Seven is the perfect number, of course. Well, there is a bit of. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll mention that a little bit at the end. Um, so, yeah, so seven swans are swimming for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, before I bring up the slide. Does anybody know the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit? No, no, not the Prince of Spirit, no. Well, the seven the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. No. Wisdom's one of them, yep. Uh, could be, could be classic, but they put down, might be, I got down as knowledge. Hmm. So we have wisdom, understanding, right judgment, courage, knowledge, pity, and reverence. I can't read. My excuse. <laughs> right, it gets, it gets even more complicated in a minute. There's this one, this next one. Which you ate made of milk in. I had never even heard of this one before. Does anybody know what the number eight might be in the... <laughs> okay, has anybody heard of the eight beatitudes? That's one. Yes. Do you know what they are? Blessed and poor. Blessed and merciful. Blessed and merciful. The meek. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the meek. Yes, God. Blessed are those who persecute us. Uh, do to the end of the world. I don't know what they're doing. So, blessed are the peaceful. Kind of forgiving. Uh, blessed are those who don't show off but think of others first. Blessed are those who rely on God's help. Uh, blessed are people who. Get in, tr- get in trouble but do the right thing uh, blessed are those who try to please God in what they do and think blessed are those who want uh, fairness and blessed are those who are sad and upset and here we go to the next one which is nine ladies dancing and anybody apart from Andy want to try and guess this one? <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give you a clue. Andy loves to repeat it all of these nine. He's very good at it. Nick, Nicky's already said it as well earlier. The seven. Oh, Preach the Spirit. Anyone know the fruits of the spirit? <laughs> yes, we have love, joy, peace, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, patience, kindness, good and goodness. Sorry? Yes. There is a song, yes. Uh, next up, we have ten lords are leaping. I don't know why they're leaping. They like leaping. Yes, they're happy. Yes, 
Who was thinking? Anybody want to guess on ten? This one is quite. This, this, this one is really, really easy. Yes. Ten Commandments. Very good. Ten Commandments. Now, does anybody know how any of the Ten Commandments? Yeah. No other gods. No other gods, yes. Oh, it's a bit, bit small to read on this. Jealousy. Looking good. <laughs> oh, it is knocked over. So we have I am the Lord your God, you shall not have strange gods before me. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Remember to keep the holy. Keep holy the Lord's day. Honour your father and your mother. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbour. You shall not co- covet your neighbour's wife. You shall not covet your neighbour's goods. <laughs> Is that last one funny? Yeah. <laughs> Very good, yeah. And, okay, so next we have... Very good, Kersal. Anyone want to hazard a guess on what 11 could be? No? Te- technically, if I give you a clue on this one, it is 12 minus 1 to make the 11. <laughs> so. I was thinking that might have been The 11 is the 11 good uh, disciples of the Lord. Because. Um, he, he got a bit scared, that's all. He, he amended his ways. <laughs> so, can anybody name all 11 of them? <laughs> yes. Peter. Yes. Matthew, Philip, not more than Philip, 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 James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, Simon, and Thaddeus. Philip, 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 we, 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 we're stuck we're stuck on Star Trek names so we start these things and we have to finish them so except 12 drummers drummers 12 tribes um, it's not bad cool but the theory that we're behind this is the Apostles Creed um, yes I have here a copy of it. <laughs> so, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again, again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I used to say that a lot in church. <laughs> yeah. very, very traditional, traditional things to do. So that is all 12 of them. Now, there is a bit of bad news. There is actually no physical proof or evidence that any of this is actually true. But the thing is, God pointed me towards this on Friday. So for me, that's enough proof. (laughs) Yes. And also, give us a chance for a little bit at the end to have a bit of a prayer. And I do have 
a couple of things that needs to be um, we should pray for, and if anybody else has anything they want prayed for, we should pray for that as well. Even got some ideas for people because we have um, family and friends, and at this time of year, with lots of children, uh, lots of kids going for their exams and everything, so we're good to pray for the school. Especially we got Kerry back here. I know he's struggling with his faith at the moment, but we'd like to pray for you, Kerry, for your exams. You don't have to come up or anything. You can stay there. It's fine. <laughs> we're going to pray for you anyway, okay? No, you've got another one. Yep. Yeah. Well, you've got lots up to now, haven't you, for the, all your GCSEs? And also, I'd like to pray for Jadzia, because she's got to go for another MR scan, um, just to check it's all still okay and everything. So, we've got to pray that that goes well, and then the doctors will get it sorted out properly. And is there anybody else? Like anything prayed for? Bill. Bill. Or is it Be pray for. Come on then. Come here then. We, we gonna, am I going to start with you, Zia? Come here then. Yeah, Father, we'd just like to thank you for the message you've sent through me today. We'd just like to thank you for everything you've done for everybody over Christmas, all the joy that you give to everybody in the world. And we'd just like to pray today for your hand to reach out to touch the right people the Jadzia who's going to hospital for another scan just guide the doctors to do the right thing for her and to make everything really good and nice and easy for her and for Chakotay in his time of um, need as he sits down to take his final GCSEs and just help guide him so he can know the right answers and he can get the grades he needs. And we'd also like your hand to reach out to Bill today and to take away the pain in his back and his legs and just to show him your mercy and fill him with your grace so that he may go out and tell people how wonderful you are and how much you've healed him and helped him. And we'd also like to spare a prayer for Paul and John. John as they try to get their new place set up a um, nice house bungalow whatever. I'm not sure what it is they're getting and <coughs> somewhere on the ground floor nice and easy for them to get in and out of um, anybody else that wants anything <laughs> Amen Lord thank you that you are involved in every part of our lives. Uh, and Lord, uh, I guess there may be some people here who haven't got prayed for yet, but Lord, just for every single one of us. Uh, like that beatitude which says, blessed are the poor in spirit, we know we can't do things without you, God, not as well as when you're in the midst of our lives. Jesus, would you help us to put you in the centre for this year? Would you help us to depend on you, lean on you? Uh, Lord, would your grace 
uh, and your power uh, be in our lives to help us through, but also so that we can uh, be salt and light for you and help others who also need uh, your love and your blessing too. Amen.